Remington bought Rohrbaugh back in 2014, and it didn't take long for Big Green to take one of that company's most successful designs, make a few tweaks to it, and then start producing the new handgun under its own brand. The result is the firearm that we have here today, the Remington RM380, a 380 ACP chambered pocket pistol that bears an unmistakable resemblance to the Rohrbaugh R380, but with a few changes that have been made and a much less substantial price tag. Like its predecessor, the RM380 is a locked breech, tilt barrel semi-automatic pistol, which is a little uncommon these days with most modern examples in the pocket pistol category being simple blowback guns. Uh, as a byproduct of this, the RM380 is a little more pleasant to shoot than many of its competitors, uh, as its operating system does do a decent job of soaking up some of that recoil energy before it reaches the shooter's hand. Uh, the Remington also requires less beefy recoil springs than a similarly sized blowback gun, uh, which means the slide is noticeably easier to manipulate, which is really no small consideration for people with limited hand strength. Also setting this firearm apart from much of the pocket pistol pack is the fact that the RM380 is an all-metal gun uh, with a stainless steel slide and barrel over an aluminum frame, uh, yet at just about 14 ounces, it weighs only a few ounces more than similarly sized polymer frame semi-automatics on the market. The RM380 is a hammer-fired gun with double strike capability and no external safeties. Its double action only trigger breaks at about nine pounds after a long but relatively light and smooth pull. The sights have been milled directly into the slide and they consist of a simple ramp front with a notched rear. The RM380 ships with two single stack steel magazines, both of which have a capacity of six rounds. Uh, however, one comes with a standard flush fitting base plate uh, while the other end has a little bit of a finger extension that really does help get that pinky on the gun. A little port has also been placed on top of the barrel that allows the shooter to visually check whether a round is chambered or not. While quite similar to the R380 in both appearance and function, this gun is a departure from the Rohrba in two main ways. First is the magazine release, which instead of being a European style here release, is located in the traditional location just behind the trigger guard. Uh, this allows it to be activated by the shooter's thumb, uh, and Remington has designed it to be bilateral in operation, so it can be used by both left and right-handed shooters. Uh, and secondly, the RM380 utilizes a slide lock, which the original did not have. It can both be activated manually by the user, and it automatically catches on the magazine's follower to act as a last round hold open. The primary concern with pocket pistols like the RM380, which could very possibly be pressed into service in the defense of your life, is always, how reliably does it run? Well, I have had the opportunity to run more than 500 rounds through several RM380s, and I have yet to experience a single failure, which is pretty exceptional for a straight-from-the-box mouse gun. The market for pocket-sized carry pistols is already pretty crowded, but Remington's new RM380 seems to be a worthy contender. For more reviews of firearms and shooting gear, Check out the latest edition of American Rifleman the magazine.